back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I'm a kindergarten teacher here in sunny California. In today's video, I'm gonna be shopping in store at my local Lakeshore Learning Store. And if you didn't already know, they have their back to school sale that runs from July 9th through September 2nd, which is an awesome range for teachers because we all have a tendency to go back at a different time, but that range is wonderful. And you can really um, get some amazing deals on some items for your classroom, for yourself. And so I'm gonna take you around the store today and show you some products that I'm going to snag for my own classroom and hopefully give you some ideas for products that you can snag during the sale for your classroom. Hey guys, so I have found some adorable posters. Um, they're in the color scheme that um, my classroom is going to be in this year and so I just want to show you a couple of them. The colors are beautiful. There's some like watercolors and some just really awesome quotes. So check these out. Okay, I'm gonna go around and show you all the different themes, um, like sets that they have of decor. There's some really, really cute ones. I personally love the confetti one, but I want you to do me a favor, comment down below which one is your favorite. All right, so they have all these different sets or themes for classroom decor. I love this one, it's a confetti one. So it's like bright white and then pops of color with some glitter. Um, let me go around and show you all the different themes that they have though. This one's their watercolor theme. Isn't that adorable? I love it. They have stickers and certificates and borders. This one is a schoolgirl style. Here is the chalkboard. They just got it all. They got birthdays and accents and quotes and clip cards and everything. Here are the emoji ones. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Smartphone fun. It's like a little sticker chart. Like <laughs> that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just ran across these happy birthday crowns, so I'm gonna snag probably the emoji one, but I love this idea of giving your kiddos a birthday crown. It makes them feel extra special in the day. I got this sign language poster just so that the kids, I'm actually gonna put this in the restroom, just so that kids can practice their sign language letters while they're in the bathroom. But I love, we teach sign language at the school, just really basic ABCs and things, so this will be a great visual for them. All right, so I have talked to the wonderful ladies here at the store just to get some ideas about um, what I can do with flexible seating in the classroom and how basically to modify name tags so that if I wanted to move a student, um, I could, but the students still have their name tags because um, this last year I used name tags. Actually, I used these name tags. Let me show you. So the name tags have um, the letters of the alphabet and then they have left and right. They have shapes and money and a ruler and the hundreds chart. And we use that like every day. Um, a lot of times I would just refer to that tool. Um, so if a student was like, oh, what's, what sound does C make? I'd say, okay, look at your name tag. You know, there's a, a comb on your name tag, so cook a comb. Um, so that's the sound of the letter C. And so getting them used to um, basically pushing that independence for them and giving them that tool to use is really important. And I don't think I wanna give that up, but I do wanna incorporate flexible seating. So one of the suggestions that the ladies here made was to actually put Velcro on the backs of the name tags so that I could move the students and um, give them that flexible seating option. Um, you know, just by taking up the name tag off the desk, but then still giving them that tool to use in the classroom. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, um, and I will let you know how it goes. All right, I don't think I can swing this in my classroom, just the way that my classroom is set up, but they have these cute awnings for your bulletin boards and different themes. Isn't that so cute? As you guys know, we have a pink playhouse in the classroom, and before the school year ended, I pulled the students aside just to see, you know, what they would like for next year, some of them who are coming back, um, who are in pre-K going into kindergarten. And everybody said fake food or dress up clothes for the pink playhouse. So I'm over here in their creative play area. Um, I'm gonna be looking through some of their food and their dress up options and hopefully snag a couple of things for the pink playhouse. 
Okay, I think my cart is pretty full. I've got so many different things. I've got visuals, posters, bulletin board stuff. I've got some adorable borders, and I also found some things that we will put in our center area. So I think the kids are gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna go ahead and check out. All right, guys, I just checked out. I'm heading out the door, and I gotta show you this sign that Lindsay, one of the um, employees here made for me. She said, welcome the kindergarten classroom to Lake Shores, isn't that so cute? Alrighty guys, I'm back at my house now and I wanted to just kind of walk you through what I got at Lakeshore. I wanted to mention a few things first though. So number one, Lakeshore literally has thousands of items that you can get for 20% off. Number two, some of their doorbuster deals are up to 50% off. And number three, they give you a free teacher's plan book if you spend over 20 bucks. So I feel like they are trying every which way to be a blessing to teachers just like you, educators just like you. So if you are considering shopping the back to school sale, this, the sale runs from now through September 2nd. So it would be a great time for you to snag some awesome deals. All right, when I went into Lakeshore, I was looking for a few specific things and I was so excited for the sale because it saved me literally like $50. I looked at my receipt and I saved over $50. So I'm gonna walk you through kind of like by category what I got and then share with you how I'm using it in the classroom. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I have a pink playhouse and I believe in creative play, free choice, that kind of thing. At the end of the school year this last year, I basically sat down with the students at Carpet Time and said, hey, what do you guys want to see in the classroom? Like, if you could have any kind of creative play activity, what, what would you like? And so they gave me some ideas and a lot of it revolved around more activities in the pink playhouse. So when I was at Lakeshore, I found some awesome hands-on activities. So this one is a doctor's office kit. It comes with um, the doctor's bag and then a bunch of other doctor toys. So there's like a blood pressure gauge, scissors, a, a kidney dish, they call it a kidney dish, um, medicine bottle, pretend plastic bandage. So they're gonna have so much fun with this playing doctor. The next thing that I got was this classroom mailbox and <laughs> I do like a fairy tale unit and in my fairy tale unit I put letters in the mailbox. Well the mailbox that we had was from the dollar store and I think we got it like five years ago. So I was excited to see that they had a plastic mailbox that I know is going to last a long time. This is something that I'll put in the pink playhouse for them to play with and it's durable enough that I feel comfortable leaving it in the pink playhouse for them to play with all year. The next thing I got was this big tape measure and they're going to have so much fun with this. I can already just envision them not only during creative play or station time, but we're gonna use this when we go over measurement in inches. Um, this is something that is durable. We can bring this around the school. One activity that I, I can already see our, see our classroom doing is taking the tape measure um, with a response page and basically going around and measuring things in the classroom, the desk, the chairs, you know, that kind of thing. So they're going to have a lot of fun with this. We could also incorporate this in our healthy body unit um, and measure how high or how tall each student is, measure the lengths of our arms. I mean, there's so many different things. And the thing that I love about Lakeshore is the quality of their stuff is seriously it, it, this is not gonna break, like it's awesome. So um, the kids are gonna have a lot of fun with that. Next thing I got was this um, dress up mask kit and it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight animal masks. The thing that I loved about this, first thing that I saw actually was the word washable. <laughs> I know that sometimes stuffed animals or you know, costumes or things like that can get kind of yucky. So I love that these are washable. I can throw these in the washing machine at home, bring them back and feel good about them. Um, but how cute are those? So they're little masks. So when we do an animal unit or we do um, a field trip to the zoo, this will be so much fun for them. All right, the last thing that I got for the Pink Playhouse was this fake food. Now I actually have a set just like this, but it's at grandma and grandpa's house. And my, my personal kids, love this set. So the students take a fake knife and they cut, the, the food pieces are like Velcroed together so they cut the food with this fake knife. And we have a little kitchen in the Pink Playhouse. The students are just totally gonna love this. I can already, see, and it comes in this shopping cart, like this shopping basket. So they're gonna love it. Um, so this will all go inside the Pink Playhouse. All right, moving on. So this year, my classroom is being totally remodeled, which I'm so, excited about and I'm excited for the future videos because I'm gonna have a lot of really awesome I, there's so much stuff I'm doing I'm building I'm getting a custom stage built 
I'm totally switching up, um, embracing more flexible seating in the classroom. We're doing round tables instead of rectangular tables. I mean, there's just so many new, wonderful updates and, and exciting things happening. So I really wanted to take the opportunity to kind of change the color scheme of my classroom. So when I saw Lakeshore's confetti line, I knew like right away that was exactly what I wanted. This one is the confetti line and it's basically bright neon pops of color with um, an accent of gold, glitter, black, and white. And so that's kind of gonna be the colors that are represented in my classroom. So I grabbed these for my bulletin boards. You'll definitely see these in my classroom tour video coming up here in a couple weeks. And then I grabbed a bunch of posters. Now, I really love bright colors, even kind of watercolors are pretty, so I tried to grab posters that not only had really great sayings and encouraging quotes, but I wanted to grab something that was kind of matchy-matchy with the, um, the confetti decor. So I grabbed a bunch of these, and I'm just gonna show you each one. So this one says, amazing things happen when you try. And I grabbed a bunch of these. I love this one. I love the colors. What you do today can improve all your tomorrows. Ralph Mars Marston. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ralph. I mispronounced your name. This one's really cute. So I have a, I think I'm going to put this above my library. This one says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Love it. You are worth everything and more. And I got these laminated there too. Um, they have those huge laminators. If you haven't seen those, always laminate your stuff before you leave. This one says, it's okay to not know, but it's not okay to not try. Can I get an amen? All right, this one says, dream it, believe it, and achieve it. So these are all just super encouraging, motivational. This one's cute little apple. It says, never stop learning. I love this one. Make an effort, not an excuse. All right, and then I grabbed a couple of classroom display, displays. I grabbed a couple of classroom displays. So this one, you're gonna think I'm weird for saying this, but this one I'm actually gonna put in the restroom. And this one is a sign language ABCs. So it just has all of the alphabet letters, but I loved it because it has the upper and lower case and then the hand sign. So what better way to practice your alphabet sign language than when you're in the restroom? I was in desperate need of a new hundreds chart. So I snagged a new hundreds chart. And like I said, all of these are laminated so that they are extra durable. So then I grabbed a couple of bulletin board sets. So the first set that I grabbed, I'm gonna show you, is the Life Cycles one. I really liked this one because, I really like this one because it goes over all four life cycles that I teach. Chicken, and we actually hatch chicken eggs in the classroom. Um, the plant life cycle, we do garden in, in a club. Um, activity, I can link some of these down below. We do the butterfly life cycle and the frog life cycle. So I love the size of this and it's pretty straightforward. It just has the, you know, cycle in a circle and all of the life cycles are represented. So I grabbed all of the life cycles are represented. Did I say represented? I also grabbed a first rate character traits bulletin board set. So we do a character unit towards the end of the year and I do these, um, we basically grow character gardens. And so each child is given a flower and then the flower has eight different petals on it. So these are all character traits that we go over being respectful, accepting, generous, fair, trustworthy, caring, responsible. So there's all of the uh, traits are represented in these posters. So I thought this would be really great to display near or around all of our flowers. I get the same name tags every single year because I love them and they have everything that the student needs. Um, they have a hundreds chart, they have the ABCs with pictures, real life pictures of things that start with that sound. I like these name tags because, for example, if a student is struggling with a, a letter sound, I can, I can tell them, hey, find the letter on your name tag and um and then say the name of the picture so like for example for b books is the picture so it's b b book 
So if they see the letter on their page, they can find the match on here and then it's just a tool that you can put in their hands basically to help them be independent in the class so that they're not so teacher dependent all the time. Um, and so building that independence is really good. The other thing that I love about this is it has the hundreds chart, it has left and right hands, it has all the shapes and all the money, you know, all coins and dollar, it has a dollar bill and then um, a 12 inch ruler and then a number line. So literally, there's so many tools on here that I'm going to refer them to. And I, we start at the beginning of the year like talking about, this is a tool that you need to get used to using. Um, this is gonna help you. So when teacher's over doing teacher time with a group of students and you're at your desk doing an activity, you can use this. And I actually get to the point where I'm like, a lot of times I'll say, did you look at your name tag? And if they tell me no, I'll say, okay, well look at your name tag. And then if you still need help, ask me, okay? Because I want you to be able to problem solve and be um, a critical thinker and use this tool. So I always grab the same one. So what I do, and what I was talking to the lady at Lakeshore about, so if you're watching this, the lady at Lakeshore was so helpful. Um, so basically, I am going to laminate these I write their name on it, laminate them, and then on the back I'm gonna put Velcro so that I can move students around and I don't have to, you know, take off anything that's permanent. It's it's flexible, flexible seating. So the last thing I grabbed wasn't really something that I went in there specifically for, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that would be a really fun addition. Um, it was these like, it was these happy birthday crowns and I just love that idea of making the students feel super special. I have a, a mat that I use too that I put on their desk and then I have a couple stickers and activities that I do with the students who are the, um, it's their birthday. And so I thought this would be a really fun purchase too. So if you're a teacher or an educator or a mom or dad who is looking for some hands-on curriculum or activities that you can do with your students or your children at home, I recommend you going to Lakeshore. Their sale runs from now until September 2nd. You can get 20% off of thousands of items. They also have doorbusters that are up to 50% off. And if you spend over $20, you get a free teacher's plan book. I mean, there's just so many goodies. I absolutely love, love, love this store. This is like the teacher store that everybody goes to. So I am excited to try these things out in my classroom. I will let you know how it goes. And if you stick around and subscribe, you'll be able to see the video of me actually setting this stuff up in my classroom, which is gonna be amazing because I have a brand new classroom. I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. So I'm gonna throw some links down in the description. You can go ahead and click on those links to get some extra savings. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get a notification for when I upload new content. The next couple of weeks are gonna be bananas, but so great. I've got some amazing videos planned and I really hope that you can go snag some amazing deals at Lakeshore before the sale ends. All right guys, well I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a good summer. Maybe you're already back to school. Bless you if you're already back to school. Comment down below when you go back to school. I'd be interested to hear when, when your start date is. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.